I'll shoot you. That's fine. I know the crystal box is there. That's OK. You can wait. I know how to break in anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Is it OK if, if I tell you how happy I am that you're back? Colby and I decided to hold off on the road trip for a while. Because Eliza. I mean, she, but she told me that she managed to track you down. Yeah. Well, she told me that you were, like, really worried about me and stuff. I'm sorry to put you through that. Don't, all right? Don't even start. None of it was your fault. Well, I, I could have handled the whole Liza mess better, I guess. Like, maybe told you what happened when it happened. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it you know, kind of would have been nice. The fact is, if I hadn't been killing myself and you, trying to be the perfect dad, you know, I, I would have seen what was going on all the time. I just, well, no one, no one's perfect, you know. But uh, when it comes to being a dad, you don't suck. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. What are you doing here? What, are you snooping through my things now? I was just afraid you weren't going to come back, and I guess I just wanted to be closer to you. Well, just because I did does not mean I want anything to do with you. Something brought you back? Damon, and the only reason we came back was for Tad. <sighs> That's good. That, that's really good. Do not act like you care. If you did, you wouldn't have switched Damon's medication. Yeah, he told me all about it. I know. Colby, please, it was a horrible mistake, oh. and I will never forgive myself for it. I would do anything to make it up to you. Yep. Yep, there is one thing that you can do. Okay, you just name it. Leave Pine Valley and never come back. Are you feeling all right? Are you in any pain? No. It's just my eyesight. You said the antifungals were helping. They were, but unless I want to put our baby at risk, I can't stay on them. So does this mean that... Chances are... I'll go completely blind. Mom. It's okay. I'm okay. But if the medicine works, if this is a matter of losing your sight forever, would you consider terminating? I'm not gonna get rid of this baby, Natalia. Your father doesn't agree with my decision either. How could I possibly agree with that? You could be happy the way you were when you, f when you first thought that this was about the pregnancy. Happy to watch my wife lose her eyesight? There has to be an alternative treatment, studies. I'll start researching right now. We've been all over the treatment options with my specialists, and right now, there's nothing out there. When do you come off your meds? I stopped taking them as soon as I found out I was pregnant. And her vision has already gotten worse. We're gonna get through this. Together. All of us. Please tell me that you didn't just order me not to have a child. I know I can't protect you forever. And I want to support your decisions. But in this case, God help me, I cannot. Okay, you know what? I just came to see if you could look after AJ. I, I, I know you don't want to hear this. And I don't even want to say it. Okay, then don't. I have to. I have seen JR with Annie. I'm leaving. No, listen to me. There is something there still between them. I'm not doing this. You must have seen it yourself. You live in the same room. Yes, I've seen it. Okay, but it's over. What happened is over. I, You've got to face it. 
You two still have big problems, and you're not gonna solve them by having a baby. You don't have a say in my life, okay? And you definitely don't get to weigh in on my marriage, especially because you weren't supportive from the beginning. What? And I know why, because I took Babe's husband. <sighs> this is not about Babe. This is about you. You are my daughter, too. I want you to be happy. I want to help you. I don't need your help. Please, Marissa, don't shut me out. Oh, what, like you did? The first minute that you could, selling me to the highest bidder? All right, look. I know you're angry about that. Okay. But don't let that anger make you do something that's only going to end up hurting yourself. You did that already the first time you and JR got together. You didn't know anything about me then. I knew that you had just lost your adoptive parents, right? And then you found out that I gave you up. You needed someone to hold on to. You needed someone to trust. And so did JR. So the two of you came together. And then before you knew it, you, you were vowing to love each other for the rest of your lives, but it was just too fast. You didn't know him, and he didn't know you. And, and well, you don't know the person that you're married just to. Just stop! That... <sighs> yes. Whatever happened to hello? I hope you're on your way. I can't do this, Jer. Do what? Aren't you coming? I have to go. No. Damn it. Nanotech. Those bombers. Hi. Oh. Do you have to get that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> no, it's the office again. Or I can wait. You are the CEO. Co-CEO. Well, exactly. I don't want JR to get an edge on you. You're more important. I'm not going anywhere. You better not. <clears throat> Hello, Scott Chandler. No, it's fine. Talk to me. You'd like to know? I just found something that will blow Scott right out of Chandler Enterprises. <laughs> 